Hi everybody, this is Fagun Shah from Integration Lab and today we are going to see a video where how you can convert a GHL uh, version 2 API or maybe you know it by the name of lead connector or go high level. So in their version 2 of API, they are returning the data of custom field very differently compared to version 1 and that is causing issue for some people especially when they have like uh, more than 10 15 custom fields available in uh, their ghl account right so yeah uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do that we only need four subscriber to reach 1000 subscribers okay uh, yeah and also for this video i would like to thank uh, mr sage michael he is also part of our uh, public connect facebook group and he basically gave me a free ghl account to test all these things and make a video out of it so yeah i would especially like to thank uh, mr sage michael for giving us this opportunity for this video okay so yeah let's get started so first let's understand what is the issue and then let's try to come to the solution okay so the first and foremost thing that version 1 is going to sunset from june 1 2024 so you have to move to version 2 okay uh, you have around like one month and maybe one week available uh, right now okay so if you haven't done that already please i would recommend do that immediately okay and if you already have done that and if you are watching this video you will learn something new which might be a problem you will be facing in very near future okay so yeah keep in mind that you have to upgrade to version 2 probably have already integrated with version 2 and it is already available for normal users to use as well zapier haven't done that so yeah probably is ahead when it comes to that thing okay now uh let's come to the issue part okay so many times i have to like use search contact action in public connect for ghl okay so what happens is when i use this kind of uh, search action uh, it should return me the like normal uh, data right let me show you by using lead connector version 1 as well so you might know it from there search contact via email that is the action called in v1 so okay looks like i only have uh, one email address and i will try to search this okay currently it is giving custom field not found uh, and yeah looks like some kind of uh, error or maybe this is a different uh, thing let me go ahead and uh, generate a api key business profile i will copy my api key i will go ahead and i will update my connection let's try now okay so here you can see that custom fields are coming in as a cf1 cf2 cf3 right uh, this zero before it the result to zero before it is for different purpose okay uh, that is like it only found one contact with this email address okay so if there are only unique contact with unique email address you will always get only this much results okay uh, so as you can see it is very easy to identify to what custom field we are getting back here okay uh, let's go back here and uh, if we go to settings custom fields cf1 and you can see it is a custom field available here right so it is very easy to identify because the name of the custom field is also available on the uh, key part of the key value pair okay but if we try to do the same thing in version 2 what happens is that we get uh, i have added one extra step just for uh, showing this uh, issue so 
let me get that sorted okay yeah so you get something like this custom field zero and its id and its value custom field one its id and value okay now you don't get the name of the custom field at all okay so it is very hard to identify what custom field it is from just the id okay now the first thing which came into my mind was let's go here and let's just try to edit it and it might show up in the url bar but no nothing happened so there is no way to identify what custom field uh, this value belongs to directly okay so it is super confusing if you have like 50 60 100 custom fields okay now to solve this issue what i have done is uh, by the way this step was just only for your reference you don't need to use this kind of step in the workflow okay the steps which you need to use is three five and six okay so what you need to do here is that in the third step you need to turn off the simple response so you will get the output in an array format now let's see how this array looks so this is the array i have already copy pasted here and these are the normal details like a default fields available in ghl okay and then there is an array of custom fields but only the custom field id and the custom field value okay there is no custom field name in there right so we can't identify what custom field it belongs to right now in the next step i am using another lead connector version 2 action uh, basically sorry in this one which is custom api call and you need to set up it like this okay get request you need to paste your uh, id here the location id which basically you can get it from the url and then you have to put this three as well just like this and that will give you an array of custom field now how will this array will look so this array will have the id of the custom field and the name of the custom field as well okay so now we have two arrays one where we have a sub array of custom field uh, with id of the custom field and value and another where we have id and the name okay and the output which we want is some should be something like this the array of all the custom field with custom fields name as a key and value as a value okay so that is what this six step which is a javascript code step going to do inside public connect okay so you need to map the search contact array here as of array one and custom fill all the custom fields uh, array as a array two in here okay once you have done that and once you run the request you will get all the custom field values like this like key value key value now this is the custom field name by the way cf1 cf2 cf3 are the name of the custom fields okay so yeah this is how you basically get the output in a way you want okay so it is exactly like this but publish shows it like this if you turn off this response then it will show up like an error okay but for easy to understanding purposes i have turned it on and you should generally you map it like this okay so now if you want to like map the custom field once value uh, somewhere below in the other step of the workflow it is super easy to do this way right so yeah i hope this video helps you let me know if you have any questions in the comments okay i will be happy to help you and yeah if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do that see you in the next video till then bye bye thank you